Welcome! This is Radioactive Banana, and it's October 4th at 11.07 p.m. And this evening I was talking with my husband, and he told me that there was going to be a power outage in Afghanistan if Taliban didn't pay some bills. And so I thought I better come and check it out. I've went over the information, and I've decided that this, this is my prediction anyway, that this is a false flag in order to tell the people that they need to uh, spend more taxes to fund the Taffy Pipeline. <laughs> this is a false flag to fund the Taffy Pipeline, which has already been built. And just to let you know, the phrase lying ass bastards has been substituted by less than forthcoming just so i can remain a little bit politically correct kabul faces energy crisis as taliban fails to pay central asian suppliers all righty afghanistan's power supply may be cut off in the coming weeks if the taliban fails to pay outstanding electricity bills due to the country's main energy providers in Central Asia, the Wall Street Journal reported Sunday. Afghanistan's state-owned power company, to Afghanistan Brezhna Sherkat, has not paid electricity bills issued by its top suppliers in Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, and Uzbekistan since the Taliban seized control of Kabul and Dabs on August 15th. DAB's liabilities have grown to more than 90 million since August 15th and continue rising. Safula Amadazi told the journal. Amadaze previously served as DAB's COO and later stayed on with the state monopoly after the Taliban took over the company. He acted as DAB's CEO until October 3rd when he was replaced by a Taliban cleric. Collection from customers, meanwhile, shrunk by 74% last month, with only $8.9 million in revenue since August 15th, the newspapers noted on August 3rd, citing DAB's officials. With government ministries not paying salaries for months and the banking system paralyzed, many Afghans don't have the means to pay their power bills. Last year, customers in Kabul accounted for about half of DAB's $387 million in total revenue, the journal revealed, citing company documents. Amadaze estimates that DAB's would require a $90 million infusion to stave off the collapse. Our neighboring states now have the right to cut our power under the contract, he admitted. We are convincing them not to do that and that they will get paid. Here's money changers. Currency exchange. Afghanistan relies all, almost entirely on imported electricity, largely from Central Asia and to a lesser degree from Iran, as the country itself has no national power grid. The nation's western provinces look to neighboring Iran for imported energy, while Afghanistan's eastern regions have traditionally called upon Central Asia, especially Tajikistan, for their, for their electricity needs. Afghanistan's limited domestic production of electricity is made via hydropower stations, though an ongoing drought has effectively halted this. While the international community pledged $1.2 billion in emergency aid to Afghanistan on September 13th, the United Nations, which brokered the donations, says it expects to use the funds to provide Afghans with urgently needed basic necessities, such as food, shelter, and medical care. The international body is unlikely to distribute any of the aid towards settling the Taliban's debts to Chajit to Tajik power generators. Amadaze predicted on October 3rd, he suggested to the journal that it was up to Central Asian countries to use the money owed as a leverage over the new Taliban regime. In this article, we find that Afghanistan relies almost entirely on imported electricity from Central Asia and Iran. Wouldn't it be great if we had that tappy pipeline? Now let's look at this. This is the Ministry of Mines and Petroleum. 
and the Ministry of Mines is telling us about the TAPI project. I'm not going to read this article because I find most of it less than forthcoming, but let's go down to the very end right here. It says Afghanistan will get 500 million cubic meters of gas in the first decade. That will increase to 1 billion cubic meters in the second decade and 1.5 billion cubic meters in the third decade. Besides power generation for industries from gas, in the long run, Afghanistan has the vision of providing gas for households in the central and southern provinces and potential capability to produce fertilizers as Afghanistan has an agriculture-based economy. <laughs> Do you mean opium-based economy? You're, you're growing food? No, I don't, I don't think you've grown food there for 30 years. People's call for the implementation of the project is as a result of the mentioned benefits. The Afghan government is committed to taking all the necessary steps towards the implementation of the project. Yes, the project has not been completed. Hmm. They're committed to taking all the necessary steps towards the implementation of the project. They're going to be using this for households. So I guess they've only been using it for industries so far. Because Afghanistan, the TAPI pipeline has been built. And so if we have this great false flag of saying we have to pay outside countries for our energy... What we want to do is say, well, we do have this planned, not actualized tappy pipeline. And if we all just tax the people, then we can pay for this pipeline and we can create our own energy. I think this is exactly what this bullshit is. This article is off the Ministry of Mines. This is current. And they are being less then forthcoming. You know what really, really sucks is Ministry of Mines when you put on your own website active contracts and you put the active hydrocarbon contracts. Let me open that up. I already have it up. Cha ching! Bada boom, bada bing! Am I good or what? You have been caught. And one of the contracts we have right here is for Dragon Oil. Dragon Oil is running the Tappy Pipeline. And this is the contract for the Tappy Pipeline. So, Ministry of Mines, I've caught you under your own website saying that you are so damn transparent and you are less than forthcoming. But yet here you have the Dragon contract. Let's look at this. This is 2015. Dragon Oil to invest in Tappy? Mm-hmm. UAE's Dragon Oil in talks with Turkmenistan for the Tappy Pipeline, 2015. Dragon Oil is the contractor for the Tabby Pipeline. Do you see, Afghanistan people, how you are being lied to? And they will just extort you for taxes and keep you in a place of struggle forever and ever and ever. The government is always out to get you. They're just out to keep you down and barely able to make it. But Afghanistan, I have more good news than just the Tappy Pipeline. Because if we look at this Excel chart, we also have another hydrocarbons uh, company called TP Afghanistan Limited. Hmm, TP Afghanistan Limited. Well, what are they doing? Well, let me take you to this PowerPoint presentation from 2013. This is by Engar uh, Salik. The, CT, uh, the CTAP advisor to the Ministry of Mines, and he's doing a presentation at the Asian Energy Security Summit in 2013 
in Bangkok from February 28th to March 1st, and his slide presentation is An Introduction to Petroleum and Mineral Resources of Afghanistan. But we are going to come to slide 34, and they have, uh, they're showing here that they have one producing well, this is a gas well, at Gerkiduk, if I'm saying that right at all. A Russian rig was left behind also at Gerkudak. There's the manifold station at Yadamaktak gas field. So here's a gas field in Afghanistan. And uh, the Gerkudak gas field. The manifold station at Koja Goguderkak gas field. Gas sweating plant. Northern fertilizer and power plant at Mazar. Didn't that article say, didn't the Ministry of Mines say, that they wanted to be able to build a plant for fertilizers. Hey, they already have one. That's fantastic, right? And here we have age rig drilling at Shakaraka gas field, if I'm saying that right. Shakaraka gas field, well number two. Afghan natural gas reserves, my goodness. I thought you were just buying from Central Asia and Iran, as well as the, your hydropower is all shut down because of drought. Did you have any idea that you had all this gas and these gas fields? No, you didn't. Remaining reserves. Gas resource present utilization. Present production from 35 producing wells of four fields, and here's where they're located. 576,000 cubic meters. Gas supplied to Northern Fertilizer Plant in Mazar, 456,000 cubic meters. About 100,000 meter gas is supplied to domestic consumer Sherburan, Aquan, and these other districts. Can you believe that, ladies and gentlemen? You already have this gas and these gas fields. Oh. And here's the Sherbergan gas fields that are planned. This was in 2013. And then, oh, you're going to love this. Check this out. This is your upcoming energy projects. Remember, this was in 2013. You're going to have the Kokcha project, the Kunar project, the Kalagai project, the Sherbergan gas field. Northern Fertilizer and Power Project, uh, Kamel Khan Dam Project, Golbahar Project, Bakshabad Reservoir Project. There is so much going on here. S so many energy projects. I wonder if they're all done. Did you have any idea, Afghanistan? Did you have any idea? that you had uh, some hydrocarbons, natural gas in your country, already up and running, and probably all going to the corporations. And your country is going to pretend like you don't have these uh, gas fields and you don't have the Tappy Pipeline. Not at all. And what does it say here? The people's call for the implementation of the project is a result of the mentioned benefits. So now you'll get the people in a frenzy and say, we've got to have the Tappy Pipeline. Afghanistan, I've shown you that the Tappy Pipeline is finished, and now we see through this Ministry of Mines presentation that you have other gas fields, and you have all sorts of data regarding these, das, uh, these gas fields. I think... It's time to take back your country. And this is what the U.S. government does, too. The U.S. government has said, oh, our electric grid is so terrible and it needs to be updated. Starting in 2010, I watched them update the electrical grid in Colorado, Wyoming, Montana, Idaho, Washington State. They've already updated the electrical grid across many places. They were doing it at night. 
So anyway, I just had to stay up late and put together this little video on the false flag of the Taliban not paying the electricity so that they will say we've got to build the Tappy Pipeline. That is my prediction. That is what they're going to say. Afghanistan, the Tappy Pipeline's been built. And they are less than forthcoming. <laughs> yes, they are. I ask the people of Afghanistan to speak up. You can watch my videos, um, the first and second Tappy Pipeline videos, where I show you the information that shows that the Tappy Pipeline has been finished. But I hope you speak up. This is Radioactive Banana, signing out.